Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a chest like this or either like this. It doesn't matter. You can decide. Okay, let's get into it. Start off with, you need to get in Blender, uh, get a mesh cube. Uh, you're going to no, you're going to scale it on the X axis by clicking S and then X. Just around that shape, it should be good. Okay. Now you're going to mirror it, auto mirror this here. So to get auto mirror, you need to click edit, uh, preferences, uh, add-ons, search up auto, it should come up, auto mirror. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so now you go to edit mode, uh, click N on your keyboard, mm -hmm. not that's not N, N, uh, auto mirror, you click edit and then auto mirror, do on the X axis, positive, um, auto mirror, click that. Now you can do it to Y, but you have to click negative, auto mirror. Okay, now you go down to this one here, this tab, uh, click on, say we'll get rid of that one, like that, and uh, now you click Y on there. Okay, now whatever you edit in this square, it will happen to all of them. Okay, so let, now let's go into it. Okay, to start off with, you're going to add a loop cut. Uh, let's add this one first. There. And now another loop cut, one there. Another, by click, by the way, you make a uh, loop cut by clicking Alt R. No, Control R, I mean. Um, now click there, we're going to bring that back, so this is a square here. Okay, so now you select these two, uh, click G, Z, lift that up. Uh, it doesn't matter how much, I'm going to lift it up a little bit more like that, maybe. It doesn't really matter. Uh, select these, go two, select these two faces, G, G, double click G. Select, do, drag them up. Okay, now it's looking more like a chest. So now you're going to click on the these three here. Select these three. Uh, you're going to click uh, extrude for, click by E. And then S. Scale. And then... Okay, so now you're going to select these three faces here. S, X. Uh, make sure you line those up. Just like that. Uh, now you can sort this out if you want. So click in line select mode. Um, bring this down. Bring that down. It doesn't really matter, just however you like it. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now go into face select mode, click on this one down here, extrude, extrude inwards. Now on this one you do the same. Get the knife tool by clicking K, select here, 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 and here. That's not bad. Enter to stop it. Click on it, extrude inwards like that okay so now you're going to uh, enable proportional editing by clicking this button here uh, you can select any face I'm going to select this one you can now scale or you can scale inwards if you want uh, I haven't done it inwards one yet so I'm going to do that not that much I mean I mean that around there that should be fine uh, select this bit scale that inwards it, scale that it doesn't matter however you do it However you like it, you can scale it outwards. I normally do it outwards. Well, obviously not like that. Um, however you like it. Like this. S. S. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to just leave it at that because I just want to carry on with the tutorial. Um, now click a cube, add a cube in. Make sure you get rid of your proportional editing and then you can drag it out. Uh, you're going to drag it out, click S and then Y. Make sure that's in. Scale it by clicking S. Bring it up. This is the lock, by the way. Now you're going to select this edge. Uh, you're going to click G and then Y. Bring it back. I'm going to move this a little bit back as well, just like that. Uh, now you're going to bevel it if you want. So you're going to select all these sides. Click A and then select that one. Click A and then un go for it. Face select mode. Just unselect that face. Control B. Bevel. However you want. And then you can do you can do that if you want. You could bevel it even more if you want. Just like this. Change how many uh, bumps there are. You can you just scroll on your mouse wheel. Okay, now you are going to do the key in the middle where you put the key. Okay, now to do that, you go to edit mode, click K on your keyboard again to get your knife tool. 
you're gonna draw your key. I'm not good at drawing. So that's gonna do. Okay. Now you've done that, you can click on click on it, extrude inwards until it glides with the back of it. Okay, if you want a tutorial how to colour it, um I'll make that. Just comment down below. Uh, if you want any more help, join the Discord server and thanks for watching.